Right before us is a number that we should do. They are telling us that if the universal set, this remember in our previous video we encountered this as this notation as universal, it represents universal set. So the universal set is this, it means that all members of the set, both whatever sets there could be, could be more than one set, all the members are represented by all those members in curly brackets. So within this universal set contains set A, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And still in this universal set, we have set B, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. We're supposed to represent the above information in a Venn diagram. So we'll go right ahead and represent the information in a Venn diagram. That will be our Venn diagram. And our universal set, we represent that on top here. Our universal set, we do not know how many members are there yet, but we have set A and set B. So we'll have set A here and set B right there. They're telling us that set A is having those members and set B is having those members. So we have set A here and set B. These are two circles. Now if set A and set B are sharing any items, then it means that the, sh the items they are sharing has have to be in the middle here. So we have to first find what are those intersections, those members that are shared between A and B. If you look at set A here and set B here, two is a common term. Uh, you go uh, three is not here, four is shared. Then also six is also shared. So it means that these terms that are shared between A and B are supposed to go in the middle. They are in the intersection of A and B. So in the intersection we have two, we have four, and we have six. Those are the elements that are shared. So the rest that are not shared go, set A for example three is not shared so we'll put three there and five. Likewise in B, B those that are not shared is eight and ten. So we have eight and ten. And there we have represented that information in a Venn diagram. But now we do not know if all members have been, uh, so we check with our universal set. So checking with our universal set, we do not have one in any of these. So it means set uh, one is not in A, it is also not in B. So it is outside. Two, two is there. Three, three is there. Four, four is there. Five is there. Six is right there. Seven is not represented anywhere. So it's not in A, it's not in B. So we put it outside as well. Eight. 8 is there, 9, 9 is not anywhere, so it is also out, 11 is not anywhere, so we also put it out, then 12 is also not anywhere, we put it out. So there we have fully represented our information. Roman 2 is telling us from the Venn diagram find part A, A union B. This is how we represent it. So A union B, union means all members in the union set. All members that are joining A and B. So A union B is this, 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 that, and that. So A union B is 3, 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So those are members in A union B. That is part A. Part B is telling us that to find n into a union b. Now this notation means that they are asking us to find the number of members in a intersection b. Now in a intersection b, intersection means the members that are shared between two sets. So the members that are intersection are here. That is in the intersection. So in the intersection, the number of members in a intersection b are one, two, three. There are three members then our part c they are telling us that find the number of members in a complement now when they say a complement a complement simply means that members that are not in a 
So if you look at set A, the circle to set A is this. This is set A. And all the members in set A are inside there. Those are members in set A. Now when they say set A complement, it means they mean anything that is outside A. So the number of members, so the number of members in A complement are, so we shall count whatever is outside A because that is what is representing A complement and that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 members that are outside set A. So those are 7 members. Please remember to share this video on other video sharing platforms and also subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching. This is Anand Ravakuramia for Xembo Academy.